Hello there, uh, my name is Hamza Luwama once again, and I'm back here at the equator here in Uganda. And today is a special day, uh, which is going to be an event day in the astronomical field of physics. Today is 23rd of September, the day which is expected to have the equinox here in Uganda at the equator. And on this day, we are expecting the sun to officially cross from the northern hemisphere going down south in the southern hemisphere and by that it will be crossing what we call the terrestrial equator in space which is the imaginary line just above the equator in space join me later check on our youtube accounts and follow us to see how we can take you through this day in the different explanations that we are going to give for this day thank you so much see you soon Yeah, on this day, what makes it so special is that uh, officially it defines what we call the change of seasons. It defines what we call the change of weather with the dependency of the Earth's tilting of its axis. But on this day, the Earth's axis is perpendicular to the sun rays. If the sun rays are coming like this, then the Earth's axis is perpendicular to these rays. Otherwise, it is always bent at an angle. That's why we have different weather conditions and the seasons changing. But for today, on 23rd September, the sun rays are coming straight to the line of the equator. And that is why today we expect, when the time is right, around 12 p.m., between 12 and 12.30, we are going to experience the shadows of images which are the equator. They are going to disappear. Have you ever imagined that? That your shadow can disappear from you? Today we are going to watch it, view it on this event day of the 23rd of September when we are experiencing the equinox here in Uganda. The next equinox will be on 21st March 2024. So those of you out there who'd like to come and miss your shadow, better join us whenever the equinox is occurring here in Uganda at the equator. Ah, hello there once again my name is Hamza Wama, and I'm gladly here on this day of 23rd of September 2023 to be right here under the sun which sun has been unexpected yesterday it rained heavily the other day it rained heavily all around these equatorial regions but today it is the day which we know as the day of the event which event is what we call the equinox event all these children behind me you see are here to witness the event of equinox whereby on the equinox day uh, event we expect we expect the following one of the special cases of this day is that the sun is going to make the official drastic shift from the northern hemisphere crossing over to the southern hemisphere in this day the sun crosses the terrestrial equator which is an imaginary line in the sky which is just directly above there equator as you can see one of the illustrations we are going to have on this day i have a shadow right under my feet but at one point this shadow is going to disappear that is the special physics event that i want to demonstrate today that because of the equinox when the sun is just overhead the equator people don't have shadows any item you put under the sun won't have a shadow especially right here at zero altitude when the sun is above the equator and on that note, you'll get to see that the sun and the earth, they play a very important role in bringing us what we call the nights and the days. The days we have, the nights we have, are as a reason of the sun and the earth being in motion. When the sun and the earth are in motion, 
time comes when the sun goes below the horizon and that's when we get darkness and then time comes when the sun is above the horizon and on that note when the sun is above the horizon we are able to experience daytime and that is why we have what we call daytime and nighttime more about the equinox on this day we have what we call equal number of hours the people say the forces of nights and the forces of days are equal and what do they mean they mean that the night hours are equivalent to the day hours on this day i checked my watch yesterday and it was exactly seven sharp actually it was 7 58 59 that's when the sun went down and that means it comes out perhaps at around maybe seven in the morning and if that time is the same between 7 and 7 in the evening, 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., then those are 12 hours. Between 7 p.m. and uh, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., those are another 12 hours. So in that sense, at the day of the event of the equinox, we are expected to have equal hours of day and equal hours of night. Unlike other countries which are very far away from the equator, which among some of them, for example, those who are close to the Arctic regions, they experience sometimes very many hours of day and less hours of night. Some countries even experience almost two or more months with only daylight. And those daylights, sometimes they are called the midnight suns because they experience sunshine all throughout. But for us who are at the equator, we are advantaged that we have this occurring right under our nose we have this marking the beginning of rainfall in africa officially it has, it has begun raining around august late august beginning of september but now 21st 22nd 23rd around those days this confirms that rain has begun here in africa then this will mark uh, also the beginning of other seasons in the southern hemisphere so as the weather changes, it changes with the motion of the sun and the earth. Depending on where you are, we shall have different seasons, different weather forecasts, and different temperatures. So for us here in Uganda, today we are waiting for the equinox. As the shadow, if you can look at my feet, my feet are standing right exactly where the shadow is since I'm standing on the zero latitude line. I'm going to show you when time comes that exactly that time is ready for the shadow to disappear because I expect it to disappear. If you want to miss your shadow, come and join us here in Uganda on end of the equinox days. Equinox occurs every after six months. So the next equinox is going to be around March 21st, 22nd or 23rd. So around those days, that's when we shall have the next equinox in 2024. Then the next one it will be back again in, uh, in, uh, in September. So. Stay with us as we shall take you through the day and show you what is going to happen on this event day. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Yes, yeah, so we have been waiting for this moment. Uh, when I was telling you that your shadow would be missing, it's just that you can't see your shadow anymore. So when I stand upright like this, I can't see my shadow this way. Like neither can I see it the other side, nor can I see it on this other hand. It's just under me. It means the sun is exactly over my head. And indeed, it is exactly over my head. Let me use my shades and miss them out. Yeah, it's right on top of my head. It's just overhead the equator. And this is when we experience what we call the equinox. And we can as well bring the camera very close here and we take a look and see the camera very close. You can see that the sun is directly above my head and it is marking the official beginning of the rain season here in Africa, here in Uganda, and the shadow is right under my feet. It has disappeared from any of the sides. I can't see my shadow anymore. I have been gladly involved in this event, and I'm happy to be part of this experience that I have witnessed the equinox for the first time also in my life. I've always heard about it in classes, online, read about it, but I'm happy to see it happen and to see it right here taking place here at the equator in uganda i'm gladly part of this event thank you so much for being part of us those who expect to be part of this event and you like to come and notice 
this effect of the equinox. Join us next year on 23rd, 22nd or 21st of March 2024.